I'm sorry I dragged you into all this. <laughs> you did your best to keep me out of it. Well, I hope Mr. Pigeon's clever, otherwise we're sunk. He doesn't look very clever. Still, perhaps he is. Well, after all, you don't look very clever either. Yet you are. How do you mean? You both escaped from him before, didn't you? Oh, you heard that. Most of it. And what do you think? <laughs> Skull. Skull. I'm sorry I can't do anything about it. But I can. Yes, I know. Know what? You stiffened your muscles before you were tied up. Good. And what happens now if I relax? Get a little play in the rope. And if somebody gives a good hard pull on the rope? Who? You. How? Haven't you got high heels and long legs? All right, I'm doing it. What are you waiting for? Father Grimm. We must give him another chance to look at us. You needn't worry about him. He won't come down again. He can see us from where he is. How? Can you see the lift door? No. Well, by it, there's a mirror which connects with another one upstairs. Gestapo had the same thing in the prison where I met Van Dyne. It's the first thing I look for. You are clever. Do you think he's looking at us now? No, you can always see a flash of light if anyone's looking at us. I think I can bring him down. What for? Never mind. First, we move the chairs a little bit. Which way? You want to be just opposite the door and the mirror. Then a little bit to the right. All right. Stop. He's looking. Now he'll come down. What did I tell you? Hello, Mr. Grimm. Don't call me Grimm. You were introduced to Mrs. Grimm, Mr. Grimm. Is that all you came down for, Mr. Grimm? Do you know why he came down? You want me to say it? Why? Because after we moved the chairs, he could only see you. I get you. Before we start, we let him have one more look through his periscope. How did we get into this place? Through a door. Iron, I think, it was locked. Along a passage, half bare boards, the other half thick carpet. Then into the lift and down here. More detail? Can't. Why not? It was pitch dark. I had to go where I was pushed. Smell anything? Cooking. Hear anything? Only the cinema. Close at hand? No, rather muffled. And the plate got saved. The king? It came from over there. Then what about that? It's not the cinema. They're shut. That banjo player's good. And the singer. It must be a nightclub. So Van Dyne has his office and a cinema and a nightclub. He's having his look. Two minutes we shall be looking back at him. All right, he's gone. And I relax. And I use my legs. Go on. It's not so easy. Son of Father Grimm. Put your hands up, like they were. that last train. And one, Mr. Pigeon. Yes. And don't forget to talk if Grimm is looking. Look out. He's there again. Talk. To 
be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble, he's gone. If he suspects anything, he shall hear the lift coming down. What are you going to do? Start at the bottom and work up? No, get to the top and work down. I've got my fingers crossed. 